I came back again with another Foff mail repair. This is Isabel C's 7550. Uh, when she sent it to me, it had a problem with the power, with the circuit board in the bottom. Okay, and the machine would not run correctly. Okay, uh, when she pressed down on the foot pedal, it would not go anywhere anymore. Uh, she could press the buttons, I believe, and they would come on and all that, but the, the machine wouldn't run. Uh, when I started looking at the machine, I found that uh, the synchronized, or that's in the bottom down here, when you unplug it, uh, the machine would run, but then the buttons wouldn't work. Okay, this is a circuit board problem. It's not the synchronizer problem. Okay, uh, I've, I've, I've found a way to figure out whether the synchronizer's actually coming on and functioning and all. So, and that's going to be my secret because it took me a month or more to d figure it out. Um, as far as the circuit board, there are no schematics. Okay, the only people that have schematics for FOF machines is FOF. FOF will never release them, so um, as much as people want them to be in service manuals and things like that, you'll never see them, okay? Because um, they're keeping them secret because they want you to send them the boards to be repaired. Uh, this is why it took me you know, such a long time to be able to repair this machine. It took me months to figure out what was actually going on with it and trace the problem down. So, uh, but I've, I have figured it out and fixed the problem. So now the machine actually runs and it, it works. All the buttons on it work, you know. You can press the buttons. Oh, there we go. And it tells you the keys and all that stuff, you know. So, and all, all the other buttons work on it. So, anyway, I did some sew offs on it. Okay. And they came out pretty well. Alright. Uh, the little spot here is the reverse stitch, if you can see it. Okay, in the video. And I did. I only select certain certain ones uh, to do the sew off. So I mean, if they're going to come out, they're going to work. Um, with these machines, they're preloaded with the patterns on top up here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Uh, so these are preloaded patterns. Um, sometimes you might sew with them, and you might get. A skip stitch or something like for the for the snail or something like that. I mean, some of it, even the teddy bear. I know a lot of people do the teddy bear for the test, uh, testing it and all. Um, you can get it into. If it, if everything is working correctly, you can get it in pretty pretty tight, but um, not always. You know, I've I've seen some machines where they just, you know, you can get this in tight and then it throws something else out. You know, so. Um, Sometimes you have to settle for just, you know, a certain balance, you know, of what the patterns are going to look like. Um, motors, stepper motors, they wear out, you know, other things, components on the board, they wear out. Um, I found that there's two components on the circuit board that are specially made. They're... You know, there's no data sheet or anything for them, so you can't find them. Uh, only Foff and Philips, and um, they have an Intel. It's an Intel processing system on there. Um, <clears throat> other, some of the other components on there, uh, they don't make anymore. So you have it has to be updated, you know, with newer components. So, but it's hard. It's hard to figure out a circuit board, and you know, Foff doesn't want to repair the circuit board anymore so you, you just have to find somebody that is willing and you have to be patient it takes a long time to figure out a circuit board without a schematic <clears throat> and there's not too many people that are willing to do it uh, for for a little bit of money I mean the amount of time uh, that it takes unless they're they're doing it because they want to learn or something like that that's fine you know 
um, but yeah, that's why they they charge a lot for the boards. I mean, they charge some of these boards. They charge like four hundred dollars or so for. So anyway, um, there is a circuit board in the top here. It spans the length. Okay, um, maybe I'll throw some pictures in so you can see the back of the circuit board. Um, the pictures will be on my web page so that you can see them. Um, these are the, the board up here is mainly uh, buttons and stuff and uh, only a certain amount of components. So, anyway, so we'll show Isabel the so off. Hopefully, I got this thing set up. Okay. Now everything works. The thread needle threader works and all. Uh, the synchron um, IDT foot in the back does work because I did some of the stitches. Some of the stitches required that you use. Uh, I believe I'm not sure if it was that one or one of these. So anyway. We'll go and we'll sew this off. All right. This is the five layers of denim. Okay. That comes up, and then we go. Okay. Two layers of starch cotton. Keep forgetting this electronic machine. I'm so used to the 1222s. So okay, this has an up and down on it. There you go. So and uh, if you hit the button there, it should it should make it go down. That's in the. Uh, oh, let me, there we go. I've got the needle down, so it's showing that the needle does go down into it. If I hit that, the needle will go back up. So that's one of the nice features of this. You also have the tacking and stuff, and that's what it, the tacking did it on here, and that's what I'm not used to with the 1222s, because they don't, they don't tack. So, anyway, but the stitches come out, and the machine runs perfectly fine now. Um, so she'll be happy to get it back so and, and I thank her for being patient I know it's hard uh, you send me a machine I have your machine and then you know you send me the money and all um, and it it's a risk I know a lot of people have been uh, let down by other people you know with their machines and all uh, and it's a risk so um, but with me I want to fix the machine all right I want this machine to work so I can say I, f I was able to fix it you know to me it's a personal conquest to be able to fix the circuit board get the machine back up and running and you know that's what I like to see so people can keep using them because the older machines they made they made really well okay and I want to see them stay around for a long time you know as long as they can because people really like them I don't think a person should be forced into buying you know or trading in their old machine and getting some machine that they really don't want you know um yeah some machines may have more stitches on it and all this other stuff but if you're never going to use the stitches then what good is it you know um be happy with the machine you know that's that's you want to be happy with the machine that's the one thing um and people, a lot of people I know get talked into these newer machines and all, and they don't they don't like them. You know, I mean they like them at first, but then you know later on it's like, well I didn't even use three quarters of the stitches. Why did I buy this machine? So anyway, the good old machines, 7550, you know, um, still running. Okay, so well thank you for watching the video. Have a good week, okay? Bye-bye.